Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about tracking stock. So what is tracking stock? Tracking inventory, tracking stock, similar terms, similar way of expressing the same um, thing. Basically what that means is that if you have a business or a restaurant that tracks inventory on certain items, you can enable this feature from your Clover inventory, Clover dashboard. And what's gonna happen now is it's gonna track the stock. So let's say you have, you're selling unicorn donuts and every day you only have about 120 of them. And when it reaches zero, you want it to show zero or out of stock on the website or disappear from the website, you can do just that. Some of the other online ordering apps do, does not have this feature. So when the customer wants to order something and you have to constantly monitor it, both in store and online, it can be a little bit hectic. So we help you automate that for you. So all you have to know is how many do you currently have and when, when do you, whether you want it to disappear from the website or just say out of stock. My recommendation is to have it say out of stock. That way your customers know that you do have this hot popular item and they'll try again the next day to get it. Because if you make it disappear from the website when it goes out of stock, your customers will never know that, you, that you're actually selling that item. So here's how to do that. So I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna say I'm a donut store and I have all these different donuts and one donut in particular always tends to sell out because it's very popular uh, or let's say somebody mentioned it on Facebook or Instagram and you noticed a, a, a huge amount of orders that one day. You can quickly go to your Clover inventory and then go first, obviously uh, count how many of those you have or get a good estimate and put the quantity in there as 25. Let's say you have 25 left and then you have 35 of the glazed donuts. You put the quantity in there, you enable track stock on your order online page. Now the countdown begins. Two people order from inside the business, three people order from online. Five more people order from inside the store, 10 people order from online. So these, these numbers get added up and as it reaches to zero, it'll be out of stock on the website. People can no longer order it because it takes into consideration both in-store and online, right? So in other words, if you sell it in-store, um, it still deducts the inventory. If they buy it online, it deducts the inventory as well. Now it's gonna help you as a business owner sell one item, both in-store and online, because obviously when they buy it online, they're coming to your store to pick it up. It's the same inventory, the same item. And by doing it this way, you can manage your inventory much, much easier than having to go to two different websites to adjust the quantity. Uh, because we do the hard work for you, we make sure it's integrated properly with your online order page. And the same applies to your branded app. So if you have a branded app with us, the branded app is the one we built for you for Google Play and, uh, and Apple App Store. It'll also track stock on there as well and count down to zero and mark it as zero. And once again, you don't have to track stock on all items. You can track stock on specific items or you can track stock on, or on all items, up to you. Uh, if you need help with this, give us a call, schedule a meeting, and we can teach you about tracking stock and how to set it up to make sure it works with your Clover inventory and your online ordering. All right, that's it for this video. Subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.